At the Liz Claiborne headquarters in Times Square, bloggers and advocates use social networking to raise awareness about domestic abuse in teen relationships. It was the seventh annual Time to Talk About It Day. According to the Center of Disease Control, one in four adolescents report verbal, physical, emotional, or sexual abuse from a dating partner okay. each year. About 10% of students nationwide report physical hurt by a boyfriend or girlfriend in the past 12 months. Seventeen Magazine's editor was one of the event supporters. The best way to prevent teen dating abuse is to talk about the issues. That is the way that we are going to take this out of being some kind of dark secret and make it something that we can all address and learn from each other. It's not always easy to recognize that you are in an abusive relationship. Melissa Kaufman works for a domestic violence hotline funded by Liz Claiborne. It's a pattern of behavior. Somebody will um, try to exert power and control over their partner. Um, they do it through isolating them from friends and family. Um, they lower their self-esteem by through emotional abuse, verbal abuse, calling them names, telling them that they're worthless. Daniel Desayo is vocal about the physical and verbal abuse she faced as a freshman in college. Thinking back, I'm just like, if I had known this, I, I don't think it would have gone to the extent that it did. And I think, you know, for girls or even guys who are in that situation, if you feel it in your gut that something's not right, it's not. Although domestic abuse affects so many people, it is one of the most underreported acts of violence. Liz Claiborne hopes this annual event will bring awareness to the issue. Zorian Adamji, NYC in Focus.